I published this video yesterday about the Schmidt trigger, but I want to do it all over again. And I hope that in this case my explanation is more clear. The Schmidt trigger is a very interesting circuit. You can make uh, Schmidt triggers with uh, electronic chips and also with transistors. And here we see uh, the typical Schmidt trigger. The Schmidt trigger has one very important property and that is that it switches on a certain moment a lamp on or off. Here you see the lamp on or off and that the switch moment is definitive. So there is no hesitation in between uh, whether the lamp is on or off when you make uh, op-amp circuits, comparator circuits. For instance, with a 741, I want to show that here, 741 op-amp, uh, I hope it's visible, 741 and every op-amp also has, always has two inputs, one uh, inverting input and a non-inverting input. But the way that it works is often that we set a fixed voltage here. My camera doesn't work properly, sorry. And a variable voltage here. Uh, both can be done with the help of a voltage divider. And when the uh, variable voltage on the pin here uh, varies above or below the fixed voltage, the op-amp switches. At the output here we can um, uh, connect a lamp or something like that. For some op-amps, not for every op-amp, the op-amp must be able to handle the current that flows through the lamp. But that, that's the principle. But we always have here uh, a, a kind of situation where the op-amp hesitates between on and off. And it can be helped, cured a little bit by the hysteresis with this resistor to uh, one of the pins. I don't have the uh, schematic now at the moment, but it's on my YouTube channel. Uh, that resistor sets the hysteresis and makes the switching point more sharp with the op-amp. But with the Schmidt trigger, there's n n never a problem about on or off. So the Schmidt trigger acts like a marble on a seesaw. Um, when the voltage goes uh, up or down, uh, the switch transistor, and that's this transistor, switches uh, properly from 1 uh, to 0 or 0 to 1. And it's necessary to know that here we have the, the main current flowing in the circuit. This is a lamp for instance, could also be a relay. Here the current flows through the switching transistor and through this transistor. That means that the main current, the supply power current flows here. So when you uh, want to switch a, a high current, have to take into account that this resistor must have a low value. This resistor is al has always a low value in Schmidt trigger circuits made with two transistors. It's always between, say, 10 and 100 ohms. Of course, when you make the voltage higher, uh, the transistor must be able to withstand that higher voltage, and you can uh, also um, make the value from this resistor somewhat higher. But okay, anyway. Uh, here we set the switch point from the um, uh, Schmidt trigger circuit. And when you look closely to this circuit, you can see that we have here a resistor and here, and they form a voltage divider. So at the base from the second transistor, we have here uh, a voltage that's set by uh, the values from this resistor and that and that resistor. So when you want to do experiments, you can replace this resistor here and that resistor by a potentiometer. And the wiper from the potentiometer goes here, the wiper, 
um, to that potentiometer. Hope I can uh, draw it. This is that potentiometer. This is the switch transistor from the Schmidt trigger. And here we go to the uh, collector from the first uh, transistor. This is the emitter from the transistor. So that's a way to do experiments to get your circuit working uh, in a specific working point. Here we see at the input also a potentiometer, that's this one. When you um, turn the knob from this potentiometer you will see that suddenly the lamp switches on or off. That has to do with the voltage here that's changing and uh, with the property from the switch, the, the Schmidt trigger switch, that it switches on or off at a certain voltage here. So what's the use of this circuit? Here you can see what's the use of this circuit. This is for instance a Schmidt trigger that switches a lamp on uh, given a certain light condition. Here we have a light dependent uh, resistor with a series resistor here and I have to tell when you use this circuit, you want to do experiments, connect here a series resistor from 1K, 1K here. It prevents a situation that you burn out your first transistor. So this is a good uh, theoretical uh, schematic, but in practice it could be that when you turn the wiper from the pot meter, your transistor burns out. And that's the reason why they have mounted here, in the practical circuit, a resistor from 4K7. 4K7, um, LDR, light dependent resistor, 22K. The first transistor and the second transistor here, they advise a BF194 and a BC238. I think that also, you can also use a BD, uh, sorry, a BC547B for the first transistor and a BD139 for the second transistor. The lamp here is 6 volt 50 milliampere lamp, so a small lamp, kind of bicycle lamp, and that's the reason also why we find here a low value resistor from 47 ohms. And here 3K3 and 220 ohms. And here the voltage is 9 volts. So we have also a kind of voltage loss, substantial voltage loss. Um, uh, we feed the 6 volt lamp by 9 volts here, so 3 volt falls approximately in the circuit between the lamp, the transistor and this resistor. So that's the practical application. Uh, Light dependent resistor could also be a pressure dependent resistor, could also be a temperature dependent resistor. In all cases when the value from that sensitive uh, resistor uh, goes down or goes up, the lamp will switch on or the relay will switch on. When you want to use this circuit with a relay, my advice is to use a 5 volt print relay. And via that print relay you can switch other more powerful things on and off. By the way, the circuit was published by Philips in this book. Electronics Theory for Hobbyists. I bought it in 1989. This is the cover. Philips did a lot in those days to help um, radio amateurs, electronic hobbyists, etc., etc., by making all kinds of books, small books and magazines uh, with their products and many uh, and much very informative 
um, information about um, electronics, transistors, etc., etc. Here you see, for instance, a few basic circuits from the grounded emitter uh, amplifier. Thanks for watching.